Hi everyone. So today we're talking about arithmetic versus geometric sequences. Um, I know you may be asking, what is a sequence? Okay, well, a sequence is a string of objects that have a specific pattern. Um, typically, because we are talking about algebra here, this is an algebra channel or a math channel. Um, we're looking at numbers. So a string of objects like numbers have a specific pattern. Okay. So um, there's two types of sequences that we look at in Algebra 1. That is an arithmetic sequence um, versus a geometric sequence. Now an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where we are adding uh, the same value over and over again. And that value is called a common difference. Okay, So we're going to add that common difference to, um, to a term to get the next term. So for example, if I have, let's say I have a sequence of numbers that, let's see, we have 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on, okay? And we want to look at this. Well, this has a, it is a, a sequence. It has a specific um This is a sequence, an arithmetic sequence, that has a specific uh, number that we're adding to it each time, a specific value, okay? So this value, uh, 3, we're adding 3 each time. So 5 plus 3 gives us 8. 8 plus 3 gives us 11. 11 plus 3 gives us 14. So our common difference is going to be a positive three. Okay. Um, it is possible that our common difference is a negative, and we'll have an example of that a little bit later. Okay. So that is our, our arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence is very similar to arithmetic, except that we are multiplying. So a sequence where um, where we are adding, or sorry, where we are multiplying a common ratio to a term to get the next term. Okay. So when we talk about arithmetic sequences, we're looking at a common difference. That means that we're going to add or subtract. Okay. change that because we're going to use that symbol here in just a minute add or subtract um, but a geometric sequence we have a common ratio here we're going to multiply each time um, or we might divide okay when we divide we're just multiplying by a fraction and again we're going to have an example of that coming up um, so let's look at this. If we have uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, etc., okay, we're multiplying times 2 each time to get to the next term. So our common ratio is a 2, okay? We always talk about in terms of adding or multiplying whenever we talk about a sequence so if we have an arithmetic sequence that is going down we're adding a negative uh, common difference if we are talking about a geometric sequence that's going down and getting smaller then we're multiplying by a fraction okay 
again, we're going to have some examples of, of both of these coming up um, right now, actually. So let's look at some arithmetic sequences. So if I have an arithmetic sequence, let's look at something like 4, uh, 7, 10, 13. And then we're going to have some blanks here. We'll, we'll fill in some more examples here in a little bit. Or we'll fill in a few more terms. Now, a term is just the position within the sequence. So, and we all, we number the terms starting at one, one, two, three, four. But we have this first one is term one. Okay. This is always the start of our sequence is term one. So it's kind of that, that's our start. Um, our term two would be the next term in the sequence, and then term three, term four, term five. Now, if we look to get from four to seven, we're going to add three. To get from seven to ten, we're going to add three. From ten to thirteen, we're going to add three. So we have a common difference of three, okay? So our common difference is three. Now, if I add three to 13, I will get 16. If I add three again, I'll get 19. If I add three again, I'll get 22. So we can fill in the next few terms that way, okay? Let's look at another one. Let's try going down this time. Let's start with 10. And then we'll go to 8, 6, 4. And then we'll look for the next few terms. Okay. Again, term 1 is this first term in the sequence. Is that term in that first position. Term 2 is in the next position, term three, term four, and so on. And with this one, we go from 10 to eight, so we're, that's, we're going down by two, so that's a negative value. Um, to get to eight, from eight to six, we added a negative two. From six to four, we added a negative two. And so we're gonna continue this pattern. So our common difference is a negative two. So when we add a negative 2 to 4, we get 2. When we add another negative 2, we get 0. And then when we add another negative 2, we get negative 2. Okay. That's our arithmetic sequence. Our geometric sequence. Let's look at geometric now. With the geometric sequence, let's start with something like two, and then we'll do six, 18, 48, and then we can look for the next three terms after that. Okay. And those ellipses means that the pattern continues to keep going. So, um, even after we, it's going to continue to keep going even after what we actually have written on the paper, okay? Or in this case on the screen. So we're going to do uh, 2 to 6, 2 to get from 2 to 6, we multiply by 3. To get from 6 to 18, we multiply by 3. 18 to 48, we multiply by 3. So if we multiply by 3 again, we'll get 144. If we multiply by 3 again, we get 432. And if we multiply by 3 again, 
we'll get 1,296. <laughs> so a geometric sequence is very much like a exponential function. An arithmetic sequence is very much like a linear function. Okay, so if you want to relate them to functions um, that we've already studied in Algebra 1, those would be what they relate to um, and what their equations are going to look like when we just when we start writing their equations. Okay, so again, this 2 being in the first slot in our sequence is our term 1. The 6 is our term 2 because it is in the second slot in our sequence, second position. And our common ratio was a three. Okay. So let's look at one more geometric sequence. Okay. This time, let's go down. Let's start with 36 in term one. And we'll go down to 18 in term two. And term three will be nine. Um, term four will be nine halves. And then we'll find the next few terms. Okay. 36 to get to 18, we divide by two. But we never write geometric sequences in terms of division. Instead, we're going to say that we're multiplying by one half. Okay, we're dividing by two. If I were to do 36 over 2, I would get the 18, okay? So remember, fractions are just another way to write a division problem. So we're going to do 18 times 1 half gives us 9. 9 times 1 half gives us 9 halves. <coughs> 9 halves times 1 half, well, now... When we multiply these fractions, we multiply the numerators, so we'll get 9. And then we'll multiply the denominator, so 2 times 2 is 4. Then we'll get 9 eighths, because again, we're multiplying by 1 half. And then the last term that we're going to have um, in this sequence is going to be 9 sixteenths. Okay? So... That is a geometric sequence. It doesn't matter um, what you're multiplying by or what you're adding, as long as it's the same throughout. If you're adding the same thing for the first two terms and then you add something different for the next term, it is not an arithmetic sequence. Same thing with geometric. If you multiply the same thing for the first two terms, but then you have something different for the next term, uh, or you multiply something different for the next term, it is not a geometric sequence. Okay, it has to be added. You have to add a constant for the arithmetic sequence, or you have to multiply constant for that geometric sequence. And if it doesn't meet these, the criteria for either arithmetic or geometric, um, then it's not, um, it may still be a sequence. There may be a pattern there. It's just not an arithmetic or geometric sequence. It's a different type of sequence. And those are for us to study later um, in, in, in a higher math. For Algebra 1, we are going to focus on arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. All right, guys, that's all I have for this lesson. So I will um, talk to you later. And if you have questions, go ahead and leave me a message, and I will get back to you. Bye.